here we have our simple sketch which simply allows the user to type read to read a value into memory and then write average which will return the average of the values and their sum but we've been told there's a problem where sometimes it's slow to respond to averages so we're going to use the performance monitoring to solve that so pick your board and your com port as normal and then if we go to the micro debugger and ensure the serial debugger is selected and enable the performance statistics as we've got a performance problem and we may as well monitor the free memory as well to see if we've got any other issues with this code so if we enable those options once they're enabled we can go and set some some trace points to find out where our issue is so a quick inspection of the code we can see there's not much actually happening it's probably one of these two functions in the center so we need to add some trace points in so if we left click in the margin to add a breakpoint and go to the actions now if we add a log message this will allow it to be a trace point so we'll we'll log our message variable back and then we'll put another trace point here after it's finished these functions on line 42 and we'll add the action code variable in so we can trace that make sure continuing execution is checked again now at the moment that will wrap those two methods together into one time so we're going to put another breakpoint in between them so we can tell how long each one took to execute Now with the serial debugger you can put breakpoints on empty lines of code as well. So you, you can trace every step if you wish. So we'll put the sum in as our trace there. Now because performance statistics are enabled we'll also get timings for all of these. So if we just build and upload our code to our board now. And the debugger will automatically kick in. Obviously to test this we'll have to send a few serial commands so it started there we go so we can see our memory monitor chart scrolling across automatically and it's waiting for us to, to send a serial command as we can see it says the sketch started the expressions window is available for when some debug data comes back so if we send a read to get a value in you can see there We've had our first set of debug data back and if we send average we can see we've had more debug data but also our memory chart's taken a, a bit of a hit so if we do another read and do another average see if we can see this slowdown that's been reported i might have to go through it a few times but our memory seems to go down each time as well so we seem to have two problems here well, that one seemed quite a bit slower so if we go and have a look at our actual debug trace messages you can see there's some very long times in there and a lot of shorter ones now this one for example on line 39 this is the first trace point we hit so it's actually timing from the end of 42 round to the start of 39 so they can essentially be ignored that's how long it took for us to respond since last time as it were now here we see on line 14 42 but it's zero but here it's two seconds a bit further down so we seem to have a problem between line 40 and 42 as the timestamp that comes out is from the point you land on so we think we've got a problem there run the average again just check it's not every time though but it, it must be around there from where the timings are, are showing us the delay is and as you can see in the expressions window all our data is being being tracked as well so we think we know where our problem is so we can stop the debugger we just highlight this press f12 to jump to the definition we can go and inspect the code to see if we can see why there's a slowdown now 
as this is a simple example it's uh, not too hard to find however in your code you may need to add more points in within the function here and then build and upload like this to find out exactly where the, the slowdown is obviously if you're looking at performance there'll need to be trace points but we, we can see our problem here so if we highlight the right bit of code remove it that, that should be our, our slowdown fixed now we also saw the memory going down we could add a breakpoint in here so that we can step as it goes through this loop and see what our memory is doing have a build and upload that obviously it'll stop now in that loop so we can step through it so we'll have to send another command to get it going again there we go stopped on our line of code in our second ino file so we can now step through there's only one reading there so one drop and we can repeat this and step through further so we put some more readings in and average that if we step through we'll see if our memory's gone down even more oh yes so that was a much bigger drop than it was before so it's definitely here now the sum we know we're using this other string is actually just to demonstrate this problem so we can just remove this line of code because it's just constantly growing the string in memory so if we now build and upload this again we think we've fixed both of our problems we should hopefully see the memory chart being better and the responses being consistent so if we now do a read an average yep memory chart looks fine and if we repeat we're not seeing any of the slowdowns we saw before look it's just nice and fast so it looks like we found both of our problems quickly and easily with the visual micro serial debugger